So where else really is going to come other than a car park and the Hall of Holcomb? <laughs> Young, dumb, and full of cum. It's all of a hock. I don't know why, I've just been walking around saying that to myself. Young, dumb, and full of cum. So, aliens would come here. Nah, it, they've got to. In Bob Woodhouse's themed walks, he says that this was made by a giant weird. And it's Folklore suggests that the Hull of Horkham on the North York Moors was formed by the giant Wade when he scooped up a handful of earth to throw at his wife Belle. But the truth is simpler, yet equally impressive. Aliens, innit? It's fucking aliens! Now my thought is that aliens would not land in the bottom of there. And we've seen the sign. The signs are here. Aliens. It's the waiting game now. This my need to know pause. Aliens don't come in the daylight, do they? Why not? Not even at the Hall of Harkham. Splodge. It's really bright. Not like close encounters of the third kind. Aliens coming out of a spaceship really bright, it's just very sunny. <laughs> I've got really does! Don't believe everything aliens tell you. E.T. isn't even a homophone. <sighs> Do you think we got it? Road closure for the aliens, access required all times for the aliens, pain display for the aliens. It's all here. <laughs> Actually, nothing on it. <laughs> Thought there'd be at least some fucking sign on it or something. <laughs> I'm having to think. As much as I hate to admit it, my method flawed. Aliens don't come in the daytime, and the Holocaust, well, I was sick of being there. But Whitby, just down the road, and it, there was a person in Confessions of an Alien Abductees on Netflix, an actual Netflix show, so it must be real. A man from Whitby was abducted by aliens, so there's somewhere. In Whitby, which is a hot spot for aliens, and this man even had an alien wife, an alien family. So it must be something to do with Whitby. Fault that logic. It's fucking mint, isn't it? I'm in Whitby now, but I'm having food. I went to the gym. <laughs> That's a small car. <laughs> Right, so it's around here where the person lived at the time of the documentary. I don't know if they still live there, I don't think they do. And as much as I don't like... Can you even see me? 
as much as I don't like going snooping around with someone's house. I'm hoping it might give some good juju. Is that my old van? It's one of these big massive fucking houses. Shit, I don't know which one it is. Right, no. Don't feel anything. It smells like gas around here though. <laughs> I don't fucking feel anything that I was expecting. <laughs> Not fucking Billy Pilgrim. Right, I said we go get some crayons. Do some alien drawings. This is where he got the fucking crayons from. But I'm whispering because it's top secret, obviously. <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> okay, good news. I just happened to find some crayons in the back of my van. Happened to have some crayons. And I've pulled up to the cliff. Now you can't see that it's the cliff because it's dark uh, but I'm figuring, figuring this is going to give me the widest openest vista to look for aliens, all right? So I'm going to draw myself some aliens. Crayons. That's a green. Now these are actually quite nice to hold on to because Little stubbies, it's something a bit different for me, um, but they're quite good to hold and colour with. Purple. There we go, that, I think that's, that's pretty much fantastic. I think this this would ideally be my alien wife and and she'd um she'd go, Oh, that's big and and oh that looks nice and, and things like that. And that's her there going this big. <laughs> um obviously she's not that size, she's actually Human size, she's big and tall and thin, a little bit like uh, the Twilight Princess in Twilight Princess, the Zelda game. Um, that'd be lovely. So now it's the waiting game where we we, we wait, <laughs> we wait for the aliens to appear. Now I can see some ships out there which might have aliens on it, in the sense of Donald Trump aliens, like illegal aliens. But it's not the aliens that we want. We want the, um, one that goes, <laughs> Oh, that's big. Abduct me, motherfucker! I've essentially made it into some merch, so I'll get it printed onto some t-shirts and sell it at my shows. Welcome Wagon One is in the air. Can't see it anywhere. Fuck, fuck. What am I doing wrong?
Nice pair of tits. Stumped. No, oh, just nutted all over myself. <laughs> oh, no. What's that mean? Driving up and down the same old strip. You had the bad guys know was in the levers around. I leave them alone. That's my kind of town. I'm making real bad. Oh, so now you're the navigator. Pee Wee's dead. Oh, let's find a new spot. Right, so I read the signs at the cliff and I don't think there's any gonna be any alien activity there. So I've moved to near the abbey because I'm thinking ancient monument-y kind of thing, you know. It kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? I don't even need to say that. So there's the abbey. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah, I can't see it either, but I can see a nice view of the, the town. Oh, look at that. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, look at, oh, oh, light. Big bridge, just down there, that's, that's, that's cool. So, I'm gonna wait here. For aliens. Nothing. There's not been anything. There's not been nothing. Not even a, a slight light display, a shooting star. Fucking nothing. Not anything like any broken twigs or anything, no burnt ground, no charred cow corpses. I don't know what else I can do. What's that? No. It's a car. It's a car. 